Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today, we are looking at a beer from Upstreet Brewing in Prince Edward Island. Alright, so today's beer uh, comes to me courtesy of my friend KK, who uh, lives part of the year in, um, in Prince Edward Island, and she came home with a bunch of beers for me. Uh, this first one is from Upstreet Brewing. It's a Pilsner Commons. Uh, it's the name of the beer. It's 4.5% alcohol. Um, I have featured Upstreet on the show before. I did, uh, they were part of my, uh, pumpkin beer showdown back before Halloween. Uh, and they did a really nice pumpkin beer called the, uh, Grave Digger. I don't think it made it to my final round, but it was a very, very good beer. Um, yeah, so that's, I, so that's the only other Upstreet brewing, uh, beer that I've had, but I'm excited to, uh, dig into this. Uh, yeah, let's check this one out. I got, I don't know, kind of a plain Pilsner-y kind of glass here. Pilsner-y, is that a word? I don't know. Uh, this is pouring out nice and golden, just like a good Pilsner should. Uh, you know, it looks like a pretty typical beer. A lot of nice white head and some nice activity going on in the glass. Uh, let's check this out on the nose. Uh, yeah, Pilsners, to me, I don't usually get a lot of uh, an odor out of them. Uh, it's just kind of a, yeah, it's a very basic, uh, basic North American beer kind of a smell. Uh, but let's, uh, let's go in for a sip. Mm, that's quite nice. Um... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's got a very, very smooth uh, mouthfeel to it, uh, but you still get a good amount of that, that carbonation in the, the first initial sip, and there's a nice little bit of a hoppy bite. Nothing too much. Um, let's see if there's anything on the can here that could tell me more about it. Uh, hoppiness, a subtle bite of Saz hops. Um, it says it's a crisp and clean flavor. Color is light gold. Uh, it uh, pairs well with uh, Fresh Island's shellfish. Mm, so not something you get uh, too often here in Manitoba. Uh, it's also, uh, it pairs uh, the scene. Uh, so it has this experience and it kind of pairs with food. The scene is a day at the beach and tunes, uh, campfire jams. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say anything about, like, the IBUs, anything like that. Uh, but no, it's a, it's a pretty tasty Pilsner. Uh, what can I tell you about Upstreet Brewing? Uh, I was just checking out their website. Um, they date back to 2006. Uh, a group of homebrewers got together. Uh, one guy out of them, his name was Hoagie, did his first batch in 2006. And then in 2016, the company became a certified B corporation. Um, so certified B corporations are part of a global movement of leaders that find innovative new ways to use business as a force for good. Uh, they meet the highest standard of overall social and environmental performance, transparency, transparency uh, and accountability, and aspire to use the power of business to solve social and environmental problems. Uh, there are more than 2,000 certified B corporations in over 120 industries and 40 countries with one unifying goal to redefine success in business. Um, so that's super cool. I didn't know that till I went to the website. Um, like I said... Uh, we can occasionally find their beers in Manitoba, at least a pumpkin beer we did, but I didn't know like that bit of background about them. So that was kind of neat. Uh, as for other beers that they do, um, their flagship beers are this one, the Czech style Pilsner. Uh, they do a white IPA called White Noise. They have a strawberry rhubarb wit beer called Ruby Social. Very cool can art on that. Actually, their can art is pretty cool. 
and they do some seasonal beers as well, uh, including the Grave Digger, which I had mentioned. It looks like they also do uh, Libra, the uh, non-alcoholic craft beer, which I did some reviews of last year um, when I was doing some non-alcoholic beers. I actually have another uh, series coming up soon on non-alcoholic beers, oddly enough. So, uh, But I don't think I'll be covering Libra in there because I just want to do completely different uh, ones than I did before. Um, yeah, from what I remember, I wasn't thrilled with the Libra, but I do like uh, Upstreet's Pilsner a lot, and that Grave Digger was, was quite nice as well. So anyway, uh, thanks for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, and just in case you didn't see my last video, is the quick announcement that uh, January 30th will be my two-year anniversary show, uh, two years down. And uh, for that show, uh, if, if you've got any burning questions about One Flight Down, about why I do this show, how I put it together... Uh, how I choose the beers, whatever. If you've got any questions, uh, shoot me an email or comment on one of my videos. And we'll, you know, we'll, we'll discuss that in the show. Um, and uh, if you feel like sending me a, uh, a, a video greeting uh, like uh, we did last year, if you want to check out the last video I did, I, I kind of uh, gave a hint of what some of that looks like. Ah, here it is. Here it is again. Matt? One flight down. That was one flight down. And that is one flight down. I think we got the extra pedal too. It's one flight down. And it only took him an hour. And that was one flight down. And that's One flight down. And that is a one flight down shower curtain. So yeah, if you want to send a little message along those lines, feel free. Or if you want, if you have something else you want to say, uh, yeah, just uh, send it my way. Uh, here's my email address. You can send it there. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, all be celebrating together on uh, Monday, January 30th. And we'll probably do it as a uh, premiere again, uh, like we did with It's One Flight Down Christmas. We can we can live chat while the video is happening. Uh, anyways, as I said, uh, thank you so much for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. And uh, we hope to see you all again here very, very soon. Cheers. Once again,